missing smartphone for 90 minutes. Our lives today are intricately tied to the use of smartphones. We rely on them for nearly every aspect of daily life, watching the news, paying bills, browsing the internet for leisure, connecting with friends and family, shutting down grocery items to buy, and even managing our health. It's not uncommon to see people walking, talking, or crossing the street with their hands buried in their palms. This has become so pervasive that it's almost a norm in society, whether in cafes, restaurants, grocery stores, or even on a pickleball court, smartphones are everywhere. But is our fear of missing out or Apple MO so powerful that we cannot imagine life without these rectangular power devices? Just as yesterday, I had an unexpected and eye-opening experience, an hour and a half of reflection and realization, all because I was without my smartphone. It wasn't planned, but the lesson I learned is something I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. My smartphone was stolen from a public library. I had left it on a nearby tabletop while I was making a quick copy thinking it would be safe for just a moment. By the time I realized it was missing, panic set in. I contacted the security who called 911 and the police were dispatched. In the meantime, I used the Find My App to track the device's location. The app pinpointed its whereabouts and the police invited me to ride with them to retrieve it. However, when we arrived at the location, the phone had been turned off. We waited and soon a new location appeared. This cat and, cat and mouse game continued for about 20 minutes with the ship turning the phone on and up whenever we got close. Then a twist of fate had occurred. A good Samaritan, who had just finished his shift at the near, nearby donut shop, noticed a man ditching a pawn in an unusual public space. He immediately called the police. All the while, we remained in contact with the police through the app. Eventually, an officer handed me a pawn without his casing <coughs> and asked if I could identify it as mine. It was indeed my pawn. Though it had only been missing for 90 minutes, it felt like an eternity. The relief I felt was immense, but what struck me most wasn't just the recovery of my poem. It was the overwhelming gratitude I felt for those who had helped me. The police officers, the Good Samaritan, and the security guard at the public library all played crucial roles in reuniting me with my poem. This experience taught me a valuable lesson about mindfulness, gratitude, and the real importance of and our dependence on the devices we carry. As I reflect on this instant, I ask you who is really minding your smartphone right now?